Good evening everyone. Welcome to my channel. I thought for the video tonight, I just want to talk about my journey in my YouTube channel. How I got to this point where I'm actually posting every week. And, and it's funny because it did not really start this way. In this video, it's just more sharing with you guys. I'd like to just have a good sharing with you and uh, there's a community out there that's really creative maybe a lot of you are creative but somehow you don't know how you're gonna start or do you really have to do it or you just don't have the confidence or um, just the motivation to do it and I thought maybe if I could share with you what I went through or what I'm going through uh, maybe it'll just help you to just do it and go with it uh, you want to learn more continue to watch let's go dive into it let's just start with the topic of what prompted me to post more and why am I interested in posting content uh, in YouTube I'm married I have a kid I have a regular job. I work from home right now because of the pandemic. I'm a working mom. I'm also doing a lot of IT work. Having said that though, when I was younger, I was really very creative. I like to draw. I like create stories. I like to take videos. I like to take pictures. At one point in my life, before I had my son, I got into photography and even after I gave birth to my son, I, I bought cameras, I, I pursued photography as a hobby. It's really out of my passion and out of the joy that I get uh, when taking pictures or creating videos or creating content that I feel very, very happy. When I was also younger, I love to draw dresses and I love to design my clothes and then I will go to a, a person who sews clothes and I would have that person create the clothes for me and I would be so happy. I would be so elated. I know deep in my heart that I am a very creative person. When I'm doing anything that's to do with makeup, with shoes, with clothes, with creating a web page or a blog or writing something or taking pictures or taking videos and stitching them together I get in the zone and I feel so happy and motivated and it doesn't matter how many hours or how much effort I've put into it I just have the greatest satisfaction I, I created my normal account in Google, in, in Google just because I really just wanted a Gmail account <laughs> for emailing because everybody was getting that right and so this is how I started and then fast forward to just about a year ago, I, I got braces. After a week get having braces, I felt that I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I got into. I don't know who I need to talk to. And you would think that I would be Googling about braces and the experience of the people, but I found myself sharing what I'm going through. I found myself taking a video of me and I thought maybe if I take a video of me and put it out there, share a video of my journey out of that, that I started taking um, videos and then posting on YouTube. I just had certain satisfaction in knowing that, okay, I felt the need in my heart to share my journey document it and upload it and maybe somewhere someone out there will watch my video and will feel a lot better they will feel guided and that's how it started almost i'm into my one and a half years of of of, of doing something like that that is very inconsistent I, I wasn't really posting i wasn't really taking videos i just happened to check my youtube channel and I was surprised that there was a video of my braces that actually had over a thousand views. I was so surprised to see it. When I saw someone actually cares, it motivated me. I'm like, let me think about what else did I learn in this journey and start posting video. Then, then I saw that there were more people that were watching it. In less than two weeks, I think, 
of consistent um, taking videos and uploading. So I now have over 40 subscribers. I'm just very happy that people are actually watching. That alone tells me there is a part in me that I want to make a difference. And even if it's just a small number of people right now, it's just making a difference. So it started with the braces, which is more of a, of a journey for me, more of an experience. Then I started thinking about, really, I'm passionate about other things, fashion, mommyhood, doing like cooking. How am I coping with my life as a mom, as a wife, as an individual who's really just pursuing happiness, who wants to make her life something meaningful and purposeful and what is the legacy i'm gonna leave behind that got me into saying you know what i'll just do what i want to do that day there will be moments during the day when i'm taking a break from work or after working a, a long hours during the day after my work i would be spending time with my family cooking and doing all sorts of stuff as a mom and then i have an inspiration you know while washing dishes or cooking and thinking oh my god i want to try this clothes and i got this and all that and just take a video of that and you know what happened guys the more i did it the more i feel happy the more I feel like I'm a little teary eyed right now, the more I feel like even in the smaller scheme of things, I'm pursuing my dream. You know, I'm not Oprah, I'm not I'm not I'm not the I'm not the Jennifer Lopez or who the famous people are, all these YouTubers who are famous and multimillionaires. I'm not that, but I feel that somehow in my own world. I finally got a time for it during the day that I feel like I'm expressing myself. And I think guys that's what I that's the main message I want to tell you. I don't know where this is going to lead me, but I just know that creating the content that I want, no one is telling me to stop. No one is telling me that I should do it this way. I'm just following my heart. So if today I feel like I'm going to post about my passion about clothes, uh, and when I do that, I get better and better But I, in figuring out how to make a video out of it. Learn more and more about this editing tool that I'm using. Not only do I gain the confidence, I got better and better in editing. I started having ideas. And the only time I can do it is after work, after I, I am done with my, my, with my parent duties, my wife duties, my mommy duties. And then before I go to bed, that's the only time. And when I do it, guys, I'm serious. I just feel happy. I feel complete. I feel like somehow there is a hole that is being filled. What am I saying? I don't know where it's going to lead me, but all I know is I'm happy. Last night, I finished my work, corporate job. I tried to finish my work, but I was just so pumped with some of the ideas that I want to do. I want to do it. I'm following my heart. Sometimes what makes us ha happy doesn't necessarily come with a very practical reason right last night i actually stayed up until 3 a.m what i did last night is i tried to create uh, uh edited two videos and uploaded them and i, I stayed 3 a.m and then i had to wake up around 7 a.m the following morning to make it in time for my meeting for work but i lacked sleep i was so tired but i was very happy i just feel fulfilled my message to you guys is you're having all these ideas in your head and you're like no i want to do it but i don't but i don't know why and i don't know how and oh people will judge me why don't you just let that all go why don't you just do it do it for yourself do your heart a service and just follow your heart let go and just see where it takes you it may take you different routes it may give you confidence it may make you love yourself more from there it can just go get better and better and better and just do it follow your heart pursue it have the urge or if you just have this idea and you're kind of just daydreaming about taking a video and then posting it just do it
there's no harm in trying. Uh, you may be thinking about it's too intimidating. I don't have the tools. You know, it's really quite intimidating. If you look at all the YouTubers and all that, don't compare yourself to them. Because me, I've just accepted here's what I can afford, right? I have, I bought a very cheapy um, mic label like this, this very affordable mic, right? I don't even have a stand for it, but at work, I actually have this mic. I cannot c connect it to my phone, but I actually have this mic. So right now I'm just using it as a stand, but the, the voice quality is very, very good, right? My phone, I have an iPhone 12 Pro Max. If you look at the YouTubers, they have $2,000, $3,000 cameras. I mean, you don't really have to buy those, right? The, the important thing is you are doing what you love to do with what you have. So right now I'm, I'm recording this with my iPhone 12 Pro Max. Um, I'm trying the 4K 60 frames per second. I pay for this editing tool called Kinemaster. I just stitch my videos. I know that you came to my channel for a reason. I want to cheer you. I want to support you. I want to let you know that there is value in following your heart, in making yourself happy. And even in this small zone, don't worry about whether we're having big followers, where it's going to lead us. Let's just follow our dreams, guys. Give it a try. Upload your first video, make a video, whatever, and just follow your heart. I know it's going to lead us to a better place. Right now, I just feel happy that I'm pursuing my dreams. It's small scale, but the happiness I feel is just huge. So I hope and I wish for you guys the same thing. So before I go, thank you for watching this video. Continue to pursue your dreams. Stay safe, stay happy, and may all your dreams come true.